Ever since my Freddy Krueger vs. Neo video, um, I've had several requests to go real in depth with the Freddy Krueger scaling, explain why he's so strong. So best way to do that is for me to just simply go through his Nightmare Warriors run um, with several other characters. It was a really fun, uh, I think six issue run. Very important for his scaling. Um, it's where you get him at his highest, in my opinion, besides movie six. Where he had a ridiculous feat but yeah anyways if you guys like horror content characters like freddy all this stuff make sure to hit the like button uh if you're interested in becoming a member drop the discord uh tag in the comment section down below but anyways let's go ahead and get started for time's sake now in issue one of nightmares warriors we see jason because of a necronomicon reading that his mother did he is not allowed to die, and he is fated to always come back. Ash Williams is the one to defeat him most recently. The form speaking to Jason, um, which is later, you know, it's his mom, says Ash has a special soul. He also says that, um, well, she says that Jason can track down whoever he wants to track down. Like when he actually, it's a weird hack, but apparently he can track you if he really wants to. Um, a special unit is on the scene to recover the Necronomicon. We find out it's like a government task force. An officer then remarks Jason is likely a better weapon anyways than the Necronomicon as it would, he would be unstoppable. But his superior replies with the book is an entire beast entirely. It leads to a completely different dimension. So, um... Dimension realm, they use words interchangeable. I'm going to explain more of what this is at the end, but the Necronomicon is the most important part to this uh, lore. Jason then is revealed to get the drop on divers underwater. He's absolutely massive in size and just tears them apart. Jason then blitzes the boat from outside of the water. Now, these were divers, right? So he has no leverage to jump up out of the water, but he did it anyway. I don't know how I did it, but... He was tanking bullets, dodged a few, blitzed people, and just absolute carnage. Um, he then tanks many shock rockets designed to take him down. He's also smart enough to throw them in the water um, and kill the agents that were attacking him. And then, of course, it's revealed um, that the voice was indeed his mom, and she's leading him to get revenge. Um, Ash, who had... Uh, previously defeated him had also defeated freddy six months prior ever since then he's been retired the government then approaches him and tells him yo we need your help you have a special ability you're a supernatural focal point and he's like y'all are tripping stop doing drugs go away um we then cut to the agency once again discussing the necronomicon uh and it is considered boundless beings with power like freddy are then stated um, to be able to change reality through sheer will. We know this applies to Freddy because obviously his feats later, but he's actually shown in the depiction in the Necronomicon. It's pretty dope. Um, Freddy then reality warps to troll Ash as Ash is coming back from somewhere to let him know that he was back and he was about to bolo Ash's girl. We then find out that Freddy is the key to controlling both what is real and what is dream. Through him, successfully using the Necronomicon is possible. Without him, they don't believe they can do it. We then go on to see more carnage with Jason as we're kind of being led to see he's coming after Ash and he's ripping people apart like paper. Uh, we then find out in an interview at a government uh, facility that freddy is the most feared character in this verse this verse shares ash jason all that demons um the necronomicon none of that is as scary to them in the verse as freddy then we find out that freddy has completely mastered the dreaming he doesn't just have the power of the dreaming he's absolutely mastered it um we then get proof this is pretty good jason scaling uh for the jason fans out there shout out to y'all uh, he can actually just straight up possess you um, in the physical world if he needs to. Um, we then see Freddy not only has like tanked deaths on multiple planes, he's done it physical realm as well. So 
they literally are struggling to find a way to kill him because they've tried so many methods with Freddy. He just comes back. Um, the only way they kind of see that they can potentially beat Freddy is through the power of the Necronomicon, which is crazy. They don't have anything. They don't have another answer for him. Uh, and like I said, he talked about he had mastered the dreaming, but then he elaborates later and says he's actually mastered the Necronomicon itself. We then find out for the last six months upon an encounter between Freddy and uh, Jason that Freddy has spent the last six months being constantly tortured in a prison dimension. And he tanked it and just came back. He, he said it was annoying, but like, dog, he tanked. That's crazy. Um, Freddy then makes Jason the general of his Necronomicon army and regens slash amps him. When Jason came back, he was ratty, he was skinny, bones, all that. They were kind of worried he was going to fall apart, so Freddy brought him back to basically prime physicality. We then find out that Freddy, in an encounter with uh, a government agent, no longer needs his claws to be overpowered. Prior, it was believed the claws were the source of his power, which is why the agent had taken it. He doesn't need it anymore. He pulls his shirt up and reveals he has actually absorbed the Necronomicon, including its demonic resurrection passages and states he is a literal god now. Absolutely. And by the way, the art on this uh, run is really well done. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, we then see Freddy summon his daughter and use his daughter. Well, she was always there, but we didn't find out till later that was his daughter. Um, and she's crazy. He was planning on... It's just... A, <laughs> Y'all see, it, it gets wild with the daughter. Um, we then see Ash run into a dead eye as they pull up on him. And he one-shots it with a punch with his uh, mechanical arm. Uh, Loki, Winter Soldier with it. And then he tanks a slash from a massive Freddy bot. This thing is huge. And gets up and finds a way to beat it. Ash is an absolute monster, especially for just someone as a human. But it makes sense because they said his soul special. Um, Jason is confirmed to also be using power from the source of Necronomicon. Of course, a resurrection passage had been used to bring him back, but he's also using actual power too, so that's pretty cool. Jason then leads a team of Necronomicon goons, Deadites, against DC. You can argue Jason can also kill souls because it stated all the Deadites were killing souls, and he's among them, so he should be killing souls too, like actually devouring souls and stuff. Freddy... Uh, in another confrontation with his ops, um, states he has tanked all forms of removal, including forms of exorcism. It just doesn't matter. Um, we then see that complete healing can be done with dream power, but it comes at a cost in the real world. So a girl with dream power was able to heal someone completely. This is crazy, though, because Freddy spams healing all the time. Um, he also states he can kill everybody if he wants to, but he, he likes to troll. So obviously we know why he takes L's. He just, he drags stuff on. Uh, Freddy, uh, will kill the survivors of the recent attacks from Jason Freddy over the years. The most famous survivors who are now supernatural focal points. He has to get rid of them all at once. Once he does that, he said he's going to make reality one big Elm Street and will visit everybody at the same time this is when we see ash is like yeah no we got to turn up and ash says we need to get the necro uh, nomicon power in order to fight him later we see freddy is using warping powers to make it rain blood everywhere to scare people also jason and the deadites ended up soloing everybody at the white house and everyone near there they just had no method to stop them um so he like casually broke through uh, Washington's defenses. Um, a full military strike then comes inbound. And Freddy casually one shots it with a scream. He took like a, uh, a massive uh, apparition head form and then just blew them away. It was wild. Um, it's confirmed Deadites are consuming souls after murder. And like I said, this should include J uh, Jason. Ash, Ash also demonstrates he's casually above normal deadites as he just completely tears through them. Um, Freddy also is revealed to be able to see your destiny itself, and he has the ability to make it manifest should he choose to. He did this with an ancestor of uh, Jason. Freddy 
casually ducks a blitz from Jason um, later on when Jason like kind of turns on him. Jason um, then fights off Freddy's daughter and tanks impalement from her. Uh, pretty wild exchange. Um, but yeah, he survives that, but you know, he doesn't take down Freddy. Freddy's still gooning. Jason doesn't scale to Freddy in this run at all. Um, Jacob, uh, whose mom was boloed, um, receives the dream power from his mom and all the souls Freddy has ever killed or like negatively impacted and are dead, they all come. So not only does he have dream power, he has all these souls amping him as well. And he's like, we finna scrap dog. And you, you would think it would be a crazy fight, right? Uh, we also see that dream powers can bring back consumed souls because these souls previously had been completely consumed. So they were just gone. They should be out of existence, but dream powers can bring it back. And then we see Tommy, uh, before we get the, you know, fight between Freddy and this amped uh, kid, we see Tommy Jarvis, a uh, famous survivor of Jason, scrap with Jason and absolutely hold his own. Freddy, in the confrontation with Jacob, who is amped, ignores all the souls being reclaimed, ignores the amp, and stabs amped Jacob casually. Um, this is when Freddy starts instantly consuming the goals again, uh, the souls again. Ash runs up on him and is actually able to fight him and even breaks his arm. I, Ash is broken. Um, Tommy then uses Jason's mom to mind hacks him and put him down. Um, Jason seemed to want to be with his mom. That was the way to kill him. That I guess Tommy had figured that out kind of weird but uh it's okay i guess um and it was stated at that point because he died jason's soul was released and it became accessible to freddy and freddy said jason's soul is limitless in power because of all the just evil he's done over the years that's when we see freddy literally call himself the alpha and the omega basically refer to himself as a duality and then he goes on to say he's basically become a god like there's no really reason to uh, debate it anymore. He said he's become basically everything. And it makes sense too with the power of the dream and what that entails. Um, the book itself, the Necronomicon, had to reclaim all the power in order to stop Freddy. A normal Necronomicon chant, like a recalling chant, didn't work. It took the literal book trying to rip it out of him and taking it away from him. Finally, at the end of the story, after, you know, Jason's taken care of, Freddy's dispersed of, it's heavily implied, at least to me, that he time traveled or went back in time, altered something slightly so he could come back because we see him laughing in his face as a cloud slash apparition in the distance. So it's true when they say he's eternal, man. Freddy's always going to come back to get your ass. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Um, if, you, if Freddy's a lot stronger than you think, let me know in the comment section down below. It was crazy when he said, you know, he the dream is just abstract in nature. It's not bound by the physical at all. He takes that and merges it. Um, and it seems to get all the power from the Necronomicon. And the Necronomicon has um, called a lot of references and callbacks to uh, H.P. Lovecraft's Cthulhu Mythos. You could try to argue that route, but it gets sticky. But yeah, he's really strong, casually, at least multiversal. Um, you could argue outer if you want. He's just he could have absorbed everything if he wanted to, and he can change everything um, through sheer will. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's kind of a lengthy, uh, lengthy video, but I hope you enjoyed. Anyways, it's been your favorite villain. Make sure to uh, comment down below if you want to become a member, and I will see y'all later. Peace.